In this video I'm going to talk more about identifying key literature in Web of Science with some of the inbuilt tips and tricks in here and in this video I'm going to focus on some of the filters. So in a previous one I focused on using references and citations but we're going to look at a couple of really interesting filters on the left hand side here. Filter results by so I've got a microplastics search up here and I'm going to start with highly cited in field. So I've clicked on that and I've refined and what this has done is it's only brought me papers that have met a certain threshold for citation. The important part here is that it's received enough citations to place it in the top 1% of its academic field. The reason this is important is that if we were to just rely on the time cited, you might get papers from different disciplines coming up with your search term. If I put in microplastics, you might get some kind of marine chemistry things coming up, marine conservation things coming up, you might get some biology coming up. It's going to bring up papers from a lot of different disciplines and different disciplines have different norms insofar as what makes a lot of citations. If you're in a very small field, maybe there's like a handful of researchers looking into this topic, then one citation in that field is going to mean a lot. But if you're working in a very large field that's very trendy and there are lots of people publishing all the time on it, then maybe having 100 citations, 200 citations is a normal thing. So in order to combat that, when you're looking at a set of results that, to be honest, could be from all different kinds of disciplines, if you use the highly cited in field button, that's showing you papers that are in the top 1% of its field based on what it means to be highly cited in that field. And this is going to help you to work out which papers in your list are considered to have been cited a lot of times. And that's across all time. So that, that isn't that, that isn't kind of just the new papers and what you'll see here is that if we look at the papers that are coming up they are going to tend to be the older ones because even with that filter it's going to be the older papers that are going to have more time to accrue more citations and to become better known in a field. So if you wanted to know okay but which new papers are the ones to look for. There's another button you can use here. I'm going to go to hot papers in field instead this time. So here are the results that have got hot paper in field attached to them. And what hot paper means is that it's got a lot of citations for its field but it's also recently published so if you just click on that it will tell you this hot paper was published in the last two years and it's received enough citations to place it in the top 0.1% of papers in its academic field so not only is it performing really well in terms of number of people citing it in its field but it's also published in the last two years. So if you want to know, okay, what of the new literature out there is really worth my time reading, this could be an indication of that, regardless of whether it's because it's a seminal paper that's kind of got a new innovation out that's really important to the field, or whether it's possibly just highly controversial and there's a lot of argument and debate around it.